You guys, I am in my 30s. I'm actually turning 35 this year and there are a lot of popular things that I have never done in my life, okay? And I really want you guys to tell me the ones that you have not done as well, okay? Because sometimes we feel as if something is popular and we're the only ones who have never done it. Trust me, you're not alone, okay? And I'm going to tell you guys seven of those things in today's video. Hi, my name is Adeze. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about motherhood, lifestyle, and, you know, womanhood. Please subscribe to my channel, please. And if you are a returning subscriber and you're not subscribed or a returning watcher, I am not subscribed. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? I really want to hit 60k as soon as possible and surpass and just keep going, okay? So just hit that subscribe button. I think it's here. Or is it here? Wherever it is, I'm watching you. Oh yeah, touch it. Hit it. Subscribe. Have you done that? Thank you. Now, the number one thing I have never done and I don't know if I'll ever do it, but I really wish I can do it, is ride a bicycle. I never learned how to ride a bicycle. I have never ridden a bicycle in my life. I see people do it as kids. I used to have friends that had bicycles, but I never had a bicycle. I never learned how to ride a bicycle. Yeah, bicycle, bike, or whatever. I've never ridden a bicycle in my life, okay? And yeah, it's something I really want to learn, but I don't know who's going to teach me. And right now, I don't know why I feel like the time has passed for me to learn, but I mean, never say never. It's never too late to learn, but I've never ridden a bicycle before. Now, the second thing is getting drunk, okay? First of all, I don't like alcohol, okay? I don't like it. I don't see the use or the need or the value or the... I don't know. I don't. It's not sweet. <laughs> I like sweet things. It's not sweet. So the most I can do when it comes to alcohol, like I can taste it. Too. It's not like I've never tasted alcohol before. I can taste alcohol, but in cocktails, okay. And that's because I'm drinking more of the other things and not the alcohol. That's why I can take cocktails. But you see, like beer, um, all this um, liquor, like all this hard liquor, all this, you know, wines and stuff, like all this, all those kai kai. <laughs> vodka, tequila, all those shots that people take, I don't get it. I mean, I've tasted them, they just burn your throat, they don't add any value to me, they're not sweet, so I don't take alcohol, and because of it, I have never been drunk. I don't know what it feels like to be drunk, I don't know what being drunk means, okay? Like, I've never ever been drunk. The most I have ever gotten, and that's when I took, like, I think I took too much Baileys, the most I've ever gotten is just, you know, lightheaded. And even that lightheadedness is not enough for me not to function. And I hated it, okay? Because I like having complete control and awareness of my body. I hated that fact that maybe when I move my head like this, it looks like my head is moving slower than it's actually moving. I don't know if you guys know that feeling. When I see people that take alcohol and they become more happy and vibrant and they are now gyrating and all of that, for me, it's the opposite, okay? If I even take cocktails, I, I tend to mellow down, okay? Just give me Coke, Coca-Cola. Once I drink Coca-Cola, I'm good, okay? <laughs> now, related to this is smoking. I have never smoked in my life. I've never smoked cigarettes, weed, whatever it is they smoke, I have never smoked in my life. And I don't think I'm ever going to smoke shisha, weed, cigarettes, e-cigarettes, vape, whatever it is that they smoke or inhale. I have never done it and I don't think I will ever do it. And related to this is actually drugs. I've never done drugs in my life. I'll never do drugs. Like, don't do drugs, please, okay? <laughs> but I'll never do it. I don't see the use. I don't see the value. Again, like I always say, I like to have complete control of my body. I like to be completely aware of my surroundings. I like to have my all my marbles together, okay? So all those things that, you know, make you feel high or make you feel good, in quotes. I, I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't ever want to try them, okay? And the next one is quite funny. You guys, I have never used Snapchat. I've never downloaded the app. I don't know what the app looks like. I don't know what people do there. I know that people take filters from there or people use it to snap pictures and take videos, you know, because of the filter. But I'm like, what exactly is the purpose of Snapchat? Is it like Instagram? Do people go there to make friends and interact and follow each other and what? I like, I don't know what Snapchat does. I have never even downloaded the app. TikTok, yes, I have TikTok. I go on TikTok once in a while, but it's still an app that is still kind of, you know, I don't know, I'm not yet very used to TikTok. TikTok is an app that I open when somebody says something about TikTok. I'm like, oh, TikTok exists, yeah, and I go to it. But on my own, I rarely just go to TikTok and just start scrolling 
through TikTok, you know, because maybe because even now, self, we have shorts, we have reels, and most of the content on all of these platforms are recycled, okay? So maybe that's why I don't really have this urgent need to go to TikTok, okay? But you see, Snapchat, that's one I've never, go I, maybe I'll download after this video, shall I? I'll try and download it and know what's happening there, but I don't have a Snapchat account, I never use this, I, I, don't, I don't see the use. The next one is an extra piercing. Now, I have just one piercing which most Nigerian children come with, okay? Nigerian girls, once they are born, is a thing in, in Nigeria and most countries, basically. I think most African countries, I think Caribbean and, you know, South America and some of those countries, piercing your ears, piercing the ears of your children when they are born, your daughters when they are born. Some people even do for boys when they are born is normal, okay? So, aside that piercing, I have never gotten any extra piercing. I've never gotten one that closed before. I've never gotten any extra piercing anywhere on my body okay that thing scares the hell out of me i'm like why and i've seen people who you know got an extra piercing and it's you know it went wrong like either they didn't pierce it the right way or it got infected or it got inflamed or you know yeah it's it, it, it just some people even developed um keloids the killer is they call it yes on their extra piercing so it scares me and then when i see piercings in some certain areas i'm like how did you stay like when i see piercings in people's tummy uh, uh, brow bone tongue the one i actually want to get is on my nose even though i feel like i don't have the nose for it but i wish like like anytime i see people that have nose ring not nose rings nose piercings like just the tiny studs i love it i want to get it but I don't have the liver for it, okay? I I don't know. I just I'm just scared of that pain. And funny thing is that I actually have a high threshold for pain, but for necessary pain. So when it comes to things like giving birth or you know going to hospital to get injections and stuff like that, I have a high threshold for that. But when it comes to pain that I can do without, <laughs> counts me out of it, okay? But yeah, like I said, I still might get an extra nose piercing okay and when i see people that say things like oh don't pierce your daughter's ears it's not good this and that blah 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 they should pierce it whenever they are older for me i always say i have never seen a child who says i regret that my my parents pierced my ears as a child i've never seen anybody that, that did it what i've seen is people that have gone and get more in fact i wish my parents had done two for me when i was born so that i can because sometimes when i see earrings with when I see people that wear like multiple earrings, you know, maybe two studs and then a hoop or something. I like seeing it though, but I don't have the liver for it, okay? So I wish like my I wish my parents had actually, my mom, I wish my parents had actually done a second piercing for me as a child. But you see all those pierces they do, like is it that goes, I what they call it, it's that strong part of your ear, the upper part. That thing looks painful, okay? It looks painful, but people have it and it's really really it really looks good, but the one that I think I might get is actually that nose piercing when I lose a lot of, a lot of weight. Now, the last but not the least is I have never used an iPhone before. I've never owned one. I've never bought one. I've never used an iPhone. I don't know why. I don't know. It's one of those things that I just never had. I never had an iPhone and I never had a Blackberry, okay? And I don't know. I think... If I should tell myself the truth, I think the thing with those things is that when I see people start raving about it too much, I don't want it anymore. When I see that people are so attached to something that is almost like a status symbol, it's almost like, oh, if you don't have it, you're not in the it crowd, you don't know what's up, you're not among the happening people, I don't want it anymore, okay? Keep it to yourself. <laughs> I think that's what happens to me because I remember I never had a Blackberry. Even when people were getting it, even when people were doing all kinds of things to get it, even when someone offered to buy me a Blackberry, I said I did not want it, okay? Instead, then I bought a Google phone, which is one of my best phones I've ever used. I bought a Google phone then. I've always been an Android person anyway. Since I started using like smartphones, I've always been an Android person. So I've used Google phone. I've used who? Have I used Huawei? I think I used Huawei first. Is it Huawei they call it or Huawei? Whatever they call it, you know, but yeah, one of my best phones that I ever used was a Google phone. And right now I'm a Samsung girl, okay? So I just buy the little Samsung and I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, funny thing is that I actually use a MacBook. So sometimes it's not easy for me to transfer, especially when I want to edit footage from my phone, it's not easy for me to transfer it. I have to use an external flash and all of that. It's a very long process. But still, I've never still had that urge to go and buy an iPhone or to own, or, you know, to ask. So I don't know. I've never had the urge. I don't know what is wrong with me. Again, I still feel like if I should tell myself the truth, maybe it's because people are now raving about it. I'm like, I don't want it. <laughs> 
<laughs> like anybody cares if I have it or not. You know, it's almost like that internal, I'm not going to fall for this hype. You know, that's what is worrying me, I think so. But yeah, that's it. Those are the seven things that I have never done. At my big age of 35, I've never done these things. And to be honest, I'm not ashamed of them, even though there's some things that I wish I can do. I'm not ashamed of them, like I don't care. It doesn't make me less cool or less or more important or more cool. Not, nothing. It's just it's just who I am, it is what it is. So let me know in the comment section the things that you have never done in your life and are quite popular. That when you say it, people are like, huh? Really? At your big age, as old as you are? <laughs> let me know those things in the comment section and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.